The Turks and Caicos Islands are a popular tourist destination on the southeastern tip of the Bahamas. Exquisite white sand beaches fringe this necklace of about 40 islands, where water sports, nature trails, coral reefs, underground caves, and luxury resorts are the main attractions. There are many things to do in Turks and Caicos to experience the island's vibrant culture, history, and architecture and enjoy the water recreation. Today we share the top 10 best things to do in Turks and Caicos so you can plan a trip and experience all the exciting attractions and activities this beautiful city has to offer. Starting with number 10, Salt K. If you're lucky enough to be hitting the Turks and Caicos during the high season months between January and April each year, when the weather sits in the cool mid-twenties and the trade breezes bring soothing winds off the Atlantic, then be sure to make a beeline for the southern island of Salt K. Here, visitors can either charter their whale-spotting boat or stand on the rugged, salt-sprayed cliffs and look out to the Turks Head Passage that connects the Western Caribbean to the waters around Hispaniola. At number 9 is the Grace Bay. So there are more picture-perfect beaches and cotton-white sands on the Turks and Caicos than you can shake a chili-doused creole prawn kebab at, but when it comes to this shimmering stretch on the island of Providentials, there's something extra special to mention. Curving its way around the undulating sandbanks of the northern shore, it's everything you could want from a Caribbean beachfront, the water is a distinct mineral blue, punctuated with the occasional bobbing outline of a whitewashed boat, and the powder is scintillating white. At number 8, Long Bay Beach. Directly opposite Grace Bay on the windward southern reaches of Providentials Island, where the Atlantic trade winds billow in from the deep blue ocean, the rollers of Long Bay Beach offer an altogether more adrenaline-pumping activity, kiteboarding. With warm and crystal clear waters, the bay here is perfect for first-time riders, who can rent all the necessary equipment from local providers and opt for lessons from well-trained professional instructors. And for the more experienced kiteboarders heading to Turks and Caicos, there are bespoke adventure packages. At number 7, Grand Turk. Turks and Caicos are famous for scuba diving and snorkeling. Grand Turk is the best place for these activities, where you'll experience the third largest barrier reef in the world. Explore over 40 dive sites to experience some of the world's most extraordinary underwater phenomena. Several local companies offer scuba diving excursions in Grand Turk. These tours provide tourists with an expert to guide them through the lively waters just a short distance from shore. Scuba diving and snorkeling in Grand Turk are great for all experience levels. At number 6 in our list, Mudjean Harbor. A 5-kilometer slice of coastline along the north of Middle Caicos, Mudjean Harbor is one of the most photographed sites on the Turks and Caicos Islands. Breathtaking limestone cliffs overhang the Half Moon Lagoon and its arc of white sand beach. Dragon Cay lies just offshore, and you can access the tiny island via a sandbar at low tide. Under calm conditions, snorkeling is also great here. At number 5, Smith's Reef.
Rated for its high underwater visibility and easily accessed from the sands of Grace Bay or the jetties of Turtle Cove, Smith's Reef is one of the top spots to strap on the snorkel and flippers and get in the water here. Under the sea, there's a myriad of corals in different colors, blooming and protruding from the sandbanks in the seabed in bursts of white, yellow, and orange. Spotted sea slugs cling to the sponges, too, while huge eagle rays cast their shadow on the ground. At number 4, Governor's Beach. Hailed by most as the finest stretch of sand on the island of Grand Turk, Governor's does well to live up to its rep. Narrow and slanting in beige yellow hues down to an ocean of perfect blue, and it's quiet, calm, and peaceful. Named after the grand mansion of the governor that stands close to the sands, the spot is visited by many a cruiser. The beach is hardly ever crowded, and swaying groves of pines and casuarinas along the back of the sands add an element of privacy and seclusion. At number 3 in our list, Pine K. This gorgeous 800-acre private island, a 15-minute boat ride from Providentials, was once a hideout for pirates and is now a hideout for affluent nature lovers who want to escape the stress of their busy lives. The island has no phones, TVs, or cars to preserve its peaceful ambience. One of the island's best natural features is its magnificent 4-kilometer-long stretch of beach that rivals Grace Bay in beauty and is one of the best beaches in Turks and Caicos. At number 2, Taylor Bay Beach. Taylor Bay Beach has been repeatedly voted one of the best beaches in Turks and Caicos for a good reason. First, it's gorgeous. Silky soft sand, turquoise water, and waving palms add to the tranquil allure of the scenic cove on the south coast of Providentials. Second, Taylor Bay Beach is a fabulous beach for families. The water here is shallow and warm, making it ideal for splashing and swimming all day. Visit at low tide if you want to walk out even farther from shore. Check out the number one places in our list, Chalk Sound. Peppered with the occasional cluster of rising limestone rock, the Chalk Sound is one of the most beautiful natural sights on the island. The countless little geologic protrusions here just peek above the indelibly turquoise waters in blooms of green grass and rugged stone, all of which are now designated as a national parks. One of the best ways to see the area is to hit the weaving, meandering roadway of the Chalk Sound Drive, which wiggles its way between the Caribbean Sea and the lagoon on the southern shore. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite things to do in Turks and Caicos. Is there something we missed? Let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.